Hey everyone, Ivy League Gaming here, and today we're playing Eternal Evolution. For today's video, we have patch notes, lots of great updates to be had, so let's take a look. All right, and let's get to it. First of all, we know this guy is coming. We have Skylord Northion coming to the game. So he is a triple S level Atlas energy hero skilled with enrage monster bait and multi-target damage. We've already gone over his kit with the skills and whatnot in my other video. But yeah, I'm looking forward to him. He seems really interesting for sure. And it was nice to get the info a little bit early to give you guys a teaser, but he's coming. He's coming. He'll, of course, be on one of the banners. That limited recruitment event will come with Artas and Rakana, which is interesting because it's like the meta for assassins. They're like, okay, we'll help you out. You guys got Rickert last time. Now here, take these guys too. <laughs> but we're also going to have a new hero, non-Triple-S hero named Old John. The Rise of Heroes event will be back, which is really great because it's such a wonderful event. It's a chance for most all accounts to get an immortal level hero with um, just daily effort. My free-to-play had the Rise of Heroes pop like four days in, I think it started. So I didn't quite get there on the free-to-play for him. I think this was the max I could get him was Legendary 2 or maybe 3 with one more update. But that's all I was able to get last time. But normally, if you're more than like a week in, honestly, um, you should be able to get get whoever the hero is for Rise of Heroes enough copies to get them to Immortal. Uh, I guess it depends on which boss you're able to hit and how much you're able to do the raffling, but it's it's an amazing opportunity to get a free non-Triple-S hero that's usually quite useful. All of them have been pretty good, honestly. So talking about recruitment events, we're also going to have uh, one for, let's see, Ravenna, Boar, and Sorietta on some servers. I'm wondering if that's what I'll get here. I mean, it doesn't, for me... I'm assuming I have three banners right now, which is crazy on the free-to-play. The free-to-play server schedule is so strange. Uh, look at guys. My Leo banner is ending today. And look how many freaking tickets I have. That's another thing. My free-to-play is going to have a video later. We're going to see if I can get it. Get 59 here. So that way I can get a cheap copy of Leo. Why wouldn't I? I'd be crazy not to take advantage of getting a cheap copy of Leo while I can. So that's happening. So much for saving. But that'll be absolutely worth it. As things change, I gotta flex and mold with it, huh? Right? <laughs> anyway, all right, back to the patch notes. So we have a details gathering event coming on some servers and Nafeng will be one of the copies. Uh, that... That's just the basic one. It's usually pretty easy. Nothing too complicated there. If you spend, you can get extra rewards at the bottom, but not really worth it, honestly. We also have Jamuzo's Bell coming back. And along with that will be, uh, let's see, Nordtheon and Ravenna will be on the spinner wheel, along with Mythic Divine Prototype Ring of Greed. Sounds good. And then we have a Galactic Treasure event coming back as well. So that one where you have to you have to do a galactic arena five times a day, get your stones and roll for rewards. And then we're again a rise of heroes will be here as well. And a, the 30 day login rewards are going to change. So that's interesting. I'm curious what they're going to change. For me, this is the free to play and it's on the final. I'll have one more day to collect for the free to play for its first month of rewards. And that'll be really exciting. I'm happy for that. And I'm not sure what's on the main right now. I actually can't remember what exactly is on the main for this. If it's, I don't think it's exactly the same. Maybe it is, and I'm just forgetting. No, there's no way I have that many copies of Serena. So the main account will be a different story, but I'll be curious to see what the new rewards are. It doesn't say what they're changing, just that they're changing. So we also have new 
boss reaper Decca coming to what they call mirage space but that means Kotosi and triangle here i haven't unlocked that on the free to play so i've got to get grinding to be honest i should be pushing more on the free to play i will be you can see where i'm at i'm at the beginning of a chapter i just haven't been taking the time to push so we're gonna have some fun pushing content once i do a few upgrades this week i'm excited uh also we have uh, added some new equipment to the boss fights. So along with that boss will also be new equipment. Optimizing the guild system. Added some new guild icons to improve your experience. So sorry guys, no guild versus guild yet. Added new triple S level energy commander grace. So AoE damage of allied heroes will charge Heartseeker Fighter Jet. When the energy is full, the next instance of AoE damage will, be, will call the Heartseeker Fighter Jet to inflict damage to all enemies. So it sounds like it's going to be like the commander is actually going to do pretty good damage himself. Maybe the way we use Samadhi. Samadhi actually does pretty great damage in like Atlas Well. Uh, but yeah, it sounds like Miss Rhoda might get retired. Because if, well, in certain situations... Like a lot of the recent heroes, like Hagridon and Gabal, so there's a, a condition. If there are three or more heroes on the battlefield, ranged heroes increase attack damage and slow enemies. This effect lasts for a few seconds and cannot stack. So we've got a little bit of a slow. We've got some crowd control added to our AoE heroes now. We can slow down those spiderlings. Ravenna says, hell yeah. And then in PvP mode, the attack and max HP of allied units is increased. Great. I'm excited. It sounds wonderful. Um, I mean, Rhoda's not bad. We're so She's got the Heartseeker Fighter Jet too. So it just sounds like... So, okay. So the new character is just a better version of Rhoda, literally. That's fine. But it's kind of weird. It makes... We get the characters... or Sorry, we get the commanders the same way. As we get the S triple S ones the same way we get the non triple S ones. So all we're doing is rendering some commanders useless, pretty much. I mean, who really uses him, right? Why would we use those other ones when you've got like him? I don't know. It's so weird. I'm not quite sure what they're what if they're gonna have any other future plans for that. But New Commander is a good thing for sure. It's nice to have an update in that department. All right, we also have some interface adjustment optimizations, updating the style and effects of the hero card interfaces, updating the hero card style on the player info. Um, I hope they don't change too much. I really like the way things glow, and I really like the way hyper-evolved heroes look. I really hope they don't change this. This looks cool. Optimize the hero interfaces with optimizing the icons of hero quality and hero info. So I guess our like when you actually click the hero, we're probably going to be seeing a little bit of a different interface overall. Optimize the descriptions of accuracy stats. So this is important because we were actually trying to get clarification about what accuracy does. I mean, how long have we been asking what the hell does accuracy really friggin do? Exactly how does it affect stuff? So that's just one of those things. It's like, it's been pretty complicated, honestly. But basically, we, we did find out from the staff that, like, if you have 200 accuracy, you, you double your chances to land something. Like, if it says you have, like, a 20% chance to stun and you have 200 accuracy on your character, you'll have a 40% chance to stun. That's the only thing we got verbiage-wise, but it sounds like they might actually adjust the accuracy information in-game and some other spots. That'll we'll have to see how they go about that. And they also brighten the text color of attributes on equipment interfaces. And it fixed an occasional bug with shop display. And that's all we have for today's patch notes. Um, I'm looking forward to doing my free-to-play account personally today. I'm going to, um, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna do a summon, hopefully. Hopefully we're gonna get Leo to this account, but I will make sure I talk a little bit more about that and why. And what about my events? Do I have Return of Tower? Can I make that happen? We're going to talk about that a little bit later today in another video, but for today, that's all for our patch notes. Thank you guys for watching. I'm looking forward to another Rise of Heroes coming, and I'll see you in the next video.
make sure you're following me live on Twitch. I'll be playing Honkai Star Rail for tonight's stream.